invoice form is the primary form you will use when going to any service call. From the reason for the service, what was done, and billing will all be shown here. There are only six sections to the invoice form. First section is the customer's information, their name, address, phone number, and email are annotated on the left side. The right side, the technician will write the date the service was performed and the name of the technicians directly below. The second section is the minimum service charge. Here is where we have our many different classifications for service calls. Emergency. My pipes have burst and now I have three inches of water in my house. Reserved. A customer has called and made an appointment for service. Standby. If there is any opening in a schedule and a tech can get them in on other than an emergency or reserved scheduling. Drain special. Ad that was ran in Valpac for a $79 drain cabling. Most calls will fall under this category with a handwritten amount. Each service call has a base price point. Circle the applicable one and have the customer initial next to it. The third section is the diagnosis section. Any serviceable action you perform will be written here. On the very first box, write the reason for the service. Below that will be the same as previously annotated, but also the task number and the standard and or member price. After all services are performed and any additional services written, you will subtotal it and provide an invoice total to the customer. Along with the minimum service charge, there's a separate section of pricing for club members. If you haven't already, this is a great opportunity to tell your customer about the club member benefits. If you haven't memorized them, there is a list of them on the top of the invoice. Show the customer the standard rate and then show them the member rate. After a $7.95 monthly fee, the customer gets their benefits immediately. If they wish to sign up, check the top box. If they decline, check the bottom box and initial. At any point in your service, especially if you're waiting on something or someone, you can perform a plumbing inspection. The plumbing inspection will break down the entire house for the customer in detail. Each element has a pass or fail. If a fail has been issued, possible additional services can be performed at that time. Regardless the outcome of what the customer chooses to do, have them sign at the bottom. Finally, the sixth section is reserved for authorization and payment. If a customer chooses to proceed with the work, have them sign here before any work has started. At the end of the work, you, the technician, will sign and date, stating that all services have been performed to code and company standards. Below that, the customer will sign and date, stating they accept the work performed. Client will get the pink copy, payroll gets the canary copy, and the company gets the white. In the payment section, determine how the customer will pay for service, cash, check, or credit. If a check, write the check number, and if credit, the 16-digit card number, authorization code, expiration date, and CCV code. It's the small number on the back of the credit card. Additional information needed is the driver's license number, expiration date on license, hair, eye color, and height. And that's how you fill out the invoice form. If you have any questions, you can address them to the training manager.